Okay, last but not least, to wrap up module number zero, if I'm just going to navigate back. So we'll go to the Home tab and then Modules. Once you have completed all the required activities, there are five submissions that were required for this module. They are an initial response, a profile picture, introduce yourself to the class, a syllabus quiz, and a getting set up activity. The initial response is your place to tell me that you are comfortable with the navigation structure of the class, that you don't have any questions. I basically want to know that you clicked on this initial response button and you didn't use the to-do feed on the right-hand side. If you have any questions, this is also your opportunity to ask as many questions as possible. So your submission options are one, I am comfortable with the navigation structure of the class. I feel confident that I can navigate to all the different modules, etc. Or, no, I'm not comfortable, I'm still confused and I have questions, and these are my questions. Don't tell me that you don't understand, and then leave it at that. Ask me questions, and I'm happy to answer them. The profile picture, you don't have to submit anything for that. If you click on it, it has instructions, but you need to come up here to your account in the top left-hand corner, and you need to upload a profile picture. I would like it to be a picture of you up close. You can see how small that picture is. It's so hard to see that it's me that if you're in a group shot or if you're really far away from the camera, I can't see your face. And so my only requirements for this are that it's only you and it's a zoomed in picture of your face. Don't give me a picture of a cartoon or a group of people or you like coming down the mountain skiing from like three miles away. Um, those won't count for the profile picture. If you don't want to upload your profile picture, that's fine. It's worth like five points. It's not gonna make or break your grade but I, I would like to see what you look like because when you come to campus, I can try to recognize some of my students. There's a discussion. It's to introduce yourself to the class discussion. I want you to take a few minutes to introduce yourself to the class. I also would like you to try to either attach or upload photographs because we're going to use discussions throughout the semester to post your own artwork. This is your opportunity to play around with the discussion thread and to practice. There's a syllabus quiz that asks questions about the syllabus. I'm not doing it to kind of be mean but there's certain things that I need to know that you know so that at the end of the semester if you come back and say well, why did I get 10% off all of my assignments or why can't I submit the midterm exam late I will know that you knew the answer at the beginning of the semester the syllabus quiz is not timed and it has unlimited temps and I expect everyone to to take the quiz and if you don't get 100 to go look up the answers to the questions you didn't get right and to keep resubmitting until you earn 100 the last activity is a getting set up activity. Once you log into InDesign, I want you to take a picture of your desktop or take a picture in front of yourself at the school computer lab so that I know how you're planning to access the software. In addition, I would like you to make a little note that says, I think that uh, I, I'm going to work every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 5 to 8 p.m. because that's my most open time, I think that's enough time to get my coursework done, etc. So I want to know that you have a game plan to make sure that you have, you know, six to nine hours per week to dedicate to this class. Okay, once you were done completing all the required activities and required submissions, you can move on to module two. I lied to you, to module one. And you can get started with our actual content. And you will see it's set up very similarly. It's just slightly different. It still has the information at the top kind of welcoming you to the module. It'll tell you about how long it should take to complete the module. And then it will talk about what you need to do to complete it. The difference is on the bottom portion. Instead of the left saying these are the required activities and the right these are the required submissions, I've included the module specific learning objectives on the left. And everything on the right is required but only the things with numbers are required submissions. And so the first item is the lecture materials. If we click on that, you can see that it has the slideshow on the left, my lecture on the right, and then if I found any cool videos that could be helpful, I've added them to the bottom as well. These look like they're not working, but if you push play, they'll actually play. Once you've done that, I would like you to do the project, then a vocabulary quiz, and then a discussion on the importance of InDesign and packaging. I'm wrapping up this video, this is going to be my last video, but I do want to note that the order that you see the activities listed are the order that you should complete them because they will naturally make all the other activities easier. So if you do the project first, or the lecture first, and then the project, and then the vocabulary quiz, and then the discussion, they'll naturally flow from one into the next, and each next activity that you do will be easier than the one before. If you jump right to the discussion, you're not going to have the experience of using those skills that you learned in the lecture from the project to be able to answer that question. Okay.
So just to wrap up at the end of this video, when you navigate to our course, you'll be on the home page. Always come back to the home page if you get lost. When you're ready to do your coursework, you're going to click on modules and all of your coursework will be found on the modules page. And then last but not least, there's an announcements button. The first thing you should do every time you log into the class is you should click on the announcements and read any new announcements that I may have sent to the entire class. If I send it, I send it because I think it's important. Okay, that wraps up our introduction to Art 1200. If you have any questions, you can email me through the Canvas inbox or you can consider attending any of my online office hours.